You scared me to death. Have you unpacked your boxes yet? I don't feel so good. Oh, Emmy. You've been in this new house for almost a month. You've got to stop moping around and unpack your stuff. It's Frankie. You accumulated a lot of stuff in six months, Frankie. They gave me a lot of boxes at Walmart because they said I was a good employee. Yeah, they fired you anyway. Where's my M? Hey, Frankie. <laughs> Welcome back, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we took um, Route 222 North to the Allentown exit. Then we took um, Route 78 East to exit 29. Then we took um, Route 287 North to exit 35. The whole trip was 102.86 miles. Em, are you okay? <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. She's just a little too skinny. She's skinny, but she's still real pretty. That's right. That's my boy. Thanks, Frankie. Yeah, come on, I'll show you the rest of the trip. I couldn't do it after you left Reading. Too many things you have to do. Yeah, but you managed to live on your own for six months. I think that's fantastic. Are you a senior now, Em? Yeah. I have to take my last semester at this local teacher's college. It's kind of a shithole. <laughs> but you know, the only reason that we had to move is because I had to accept the transfer, otherwise I couldn't afford to put somebody through college. So lay off it, will you? <laughs> Pass me a salad, please. <clears throat> Emma, why don't you just take a bite? Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm not hungry. Frankie, maybe you can help your sister eat some. Em. Mm -hmm. You're still the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Thanks, Frankie. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Glad you're home, Frankie. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Again. Why aren't you dressed? Was the door unlocked last night? The first day of class is very important, Emma. Was it? This is important. Your father will drive you. Morning, Em. Um, I think I got a job at, at Connor's Deli on East Market. It's great, Frankie. I'll get bagels for free now. The guy said I could start tomorrow. Are you, are, you're not going to class today? It's college, Frankie. You can skip one class. <laughs> Why go to college if you don't go to college? <laughs> Hey, that's my boy. So you're going to stay inside again today, all day? We better tomorrow. You want to go uh, check out the whiz today, L look for cool stuff? No, not today, Frankie. Tomorrow, I promise.
Frankie? You want me to wear a cowbell? Well, it's a thought. Sweetheart, just look straight ahead for me. I'm just gonna check the back of your head here, sweetheart. All right, just look straight ahead for me. How's that feel? Okay. It's a nice bump you got there. Do you remember your name? Emma Cowan. Do you remember your birthday? 11, 17, 83. That's good. Right, just squeeze my finger for me here, real strong. That's good, sweetheart. I think we're done here. Just give me a minute with your folks here, all right? Okay. I think she's fine, folks. Uh, she's got a pretty nasty bump on the back of her head, but vitals check out. There's no fluid in her air. Her eyes are dilating. The choice is yours. But I don't think she needs to go to the hospital. It was a girl in the attic. Well, maybe it was just a bad dream. Do you have a history of sleepwalking? No. Never. Maybe you should see a neurologist. A neurologist? I just need to be alone. Hey, Anne, it's me. Really retarded you don't have a cell phone, but just thought you might want to know that your ex-boyfriend is dating Melanie. Emma? Jesus. Ah, uh, the front door was unlocked. You just scared me. I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention. Are you feeling better? Mm-hmm. The name's Trevor, John Trevor. Most people just call me Trevor. Wait a minute, isn't... Is that the name from the cop show? New York 187, yeah. I get ripped about that constantly. <laughs> uh, I'm a paramedic part-time. 
Normally, though, I'm a detective for the county. You know, in a small town like this, we have to double up. Last night, Baker and Carter were in charge. Wanted to say something, but I didn't want to step on their toes. What do you mean? I don't think Baker and Carter were really listening to you. I think they only heard what they wanted to. So you're saying you don't think I'm crazy? Uh, I wouldn't go there yet. Do you have any friends who may be screwing with you? Uh, I decided to leave all my friends behind when we moved here. Specifically, who closed the attic stairs? Oh. I took a look around last night and I saw a second set of footprints in the attic dust. Why don't you take me upstairs and show me around and tell me what happened? Oh no, I... I can't. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to face this. Maybe tomorrow. Or maybe you could... come back. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. I apologize if I'm being too much of a cop. Hey, uh... I thought the cop never believed the crazy girl's story. <laughs> well... Depends on how pretty she is. Not hungry again, Em? I ate too much at lunch. Oh, really? What'd you have? I'm not anorexic, if that's what you think. No, 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 I just wonder why you're never eating any food. Emma, we're just worried you're okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Emma, are you going to go back to school? I actually was thinking of taking a week off. Well, you're going to have to either go or quit, because that way I can get a refund. It's always about money, isn't it, Dad? Em, you want to um, check out the woods tomorrow, like you promised? Maybe, Frankie. I'm feeling a little bit better. Yes! I'm going to go upstairs and read. Frankie, why does she hate me so much, huh? Maybe if you were nicer to her. That's not what I asked you, Frank. No, what were you going to say? Don't yell at me. I'm not yelling. I just want to know why she treats me like shit. It ain't my business. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. She no. has a journal, OK? She has a journal? Yeah, and if you're mad at me, just don't, don't hit me, okay? Tell me, Dad, have you read that journal? No, that's stupid. Frankie, go. Come here. No, come here. Pal, I'm sorry, Frankie. Come here. Okay. Watch your step. All right. What have we got in here? Spooky. Hey, where's the smear? Over there. And what'd you see in here again? Me. Interesting, you saw you in a mirror. Well, no, I saw someone who looked just like me behind me. All right. All right. There's nothing paranormal so far. After you saw you in the mirror, what happened now? I just ran and then the stairs closed. Wait, you know, I didn't I didn't put the cover back on the mirror. Mm -hmm. Detective Carter probably did it. Maybe he replaced that light bulb too. Trevor? Was this here before? I don't know. It was pitch black. Well, it doesn't look like blood. Doesn't it look like some sort of zodiac sign? Mm, I'll do some research on it.
It's all right, sweetie. You're okay. Where's mom, Frankie? Your mom's not home yet. Frankie's still at work. Did you see her? Who? The girl. The twin. I didn't see anybody. You talking about the girl you saw the other day? Yes. You, you don't have a sister, Emma. You've never had a sister. Why'd you call her my sister? You said twin, and that would mean sister. I just thought that that's what you meant. Sweetheart, your mom's gonna be home in a few minutes. We're gonna take you to the emergency room. No. Mm. I'm not going outside. Okay. Why? Why? Try, try to talk some sense now. No, I'm not going outside until I figure out what's going on. We're going to take care of you, sweetie. We're going to take care of you. You know, you don't have to lie down. Makes me feel officially nuts. <laughs> well, whatever makes you comfortable. I hate his guts. He's cheap. He's mean to my brother. His socks smell. He's just a frustrated middle management asshole. I'm a friend of your mother's. Uh, I'm a family therapist, but I have a specialty in phobias and agoraphobia, so when I treat someone who has it, I have to come to them. Good, so you're not a cheap quack. Did you have an affair with my mother? Um, your mother says that you've also stopped eating. Is that true? That can be serious. Well, you know the part about the Zodiac. You look very pretty today. What? Listen, now I gotta be away for EMS training next week. Crazy girl's not important anymore? I don't think you're crazy. Listen, if you need me, you just call me whenever you want. Okay. And until then, how will I remember you? gonna be that easy for you. It's a real nice day, Em. Let's go out. Oh, 
Not today, okay, Frankie? Come on, for me. What? What is it? M. What, M? What is it? A M. What is it, M? What do you see? I'm sorry, Frankie, I can't. I can't go out there. You used to play with me outside all the time. It's not you, okay? Sure, I'll, okay, maybe tomorrow. Look, I, I bought you this from the deli. The next time you see someone you don't like, you can take a picture of them. What frightens you about the outdoors? There is something or someone out there. Uh, what or who do you think is out there? A girl who looks exactly like me. Like a mirror image or a, a, an alter ego? An identical twin. When did this begin? This fear? It's like this bad dream I used to have. When I moved into this house, it became real. And your fear of the outside is greater than your fear of the inside? can't go, and I don't want to stay. <sighs> what did you write? Crazy? Then underline it. <laughs> Is everything all right? Has your father called? No. alone. First name Beth. Middle name Margaret, last name Callan. Mother Com Kimberly Lynn Callan, father Graham Thomas Callan. Born November 17th, 1983. up for me at Riverview Hospital. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. 
Who was on the phone? It's the wrong number. Okay. I want you to eat something, man. I just had some chicken. Sweetie, you're wasting away. Well, think of all the money I'll see you. I want to see you eat something. Your mother wants to see you eat something. Okay, here. Get away from eat me. this. Come here! Get away from me. Eat something. Get your fucking hands oh. off me. You want to move out? You want to move out? Fine! I'll help you move out! Come on! Let's go! Outside! Come on! Outside! Come on! Outside! Outside! Come on! Let's go! What's going on now? You all right? Where are you? I need you. I'm at Riverview Hospital. I'm gonna do the research you asked. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this twin theory of yours. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Dr. Melvin said that there were twins. That you were born at 11.58 p.m. And that she was born three minutes after. And she died 12 days later. That's what he said. He also said something else. There was something wrong with her, Emma. And your father was pretty upset, you know, because of Frankie and all. I don't understand what was wrong with her. Part of her brain wasn't formed. She would have never had a normal life. Did they... Did he just let her die? Frankie, could you come here? No, you come out here. I can't, Frankie. Then talk to me from there. I can hear you. I have a special secret. What's up, Anna? Frankie? Do you remember us ever having a sister? What? A twin sister. <laughs> You're joking, Em. No, Frankie. I'm dead serious. No, I, I don't remember. Do you remember ever hearing the name Beth? I'll think real hard, Em. Yeah. Beth, yeah. Frankie, I need you to come up with me to the attic. What's, what's the matter? Don't be scared, okay? I have to get Frankie, ready for work. Frankie, don't be scared. Come with me. If I don't work, I'll be fine. Frankie, you gotta come with me.
What am I looking for, Ev? I can't believe it. Daddy keeps asking what we're talking about. Oh my God. What's gone? Daddy keeps asking if you're okay. I'm not okay, Frankie. You will never leave this house. What did you just say? This house is now a part of your soul, Emma. What did you just say to me? About Daddy always asking if you're okay. No, about the house. Mm -hmm. What? Never mind, Frankie. Never mind, let's just go. <laughs> you're the one who wanted to come up here, remember? <laughs> Could you do some more research for me? Sure, name it. I saw more Wicca signs in the attic. Did you copy them down? Yes. Listen, I need you to find a man. His name is Dr. Stephen Coffey, and I need you to bring him to the house. Okay, who's Dr. Coffey? He's an expert on the occult. Emma, I think we need to sit down with your family, have a conference. No. No, they, they may be. What? I don't trust them! Why? Because they lie to me. How long has it been now since you've stepped outside? Hmm. I don't know. 40 days or so? Let me ask you something. What were you like before you moved here? Well, I didn't, I didn't hate my dad <laughs> as much. Well, you know, sometimes when people are angry with themselves, they lash out at others. No. It's... I think maybe. The problem is that you're angry with your parents because you can't handle what's going on with yourself. You know, your anger is, is really a frustration with your own paralysis. You can't eat, you can't leave, and so you hate them, and you make them the cause you can't understand. If you knew what he did, if you knew, you wouldn't say that. Okay, tell me. I can't. I can't. Dr. Coffee, I'm so glad you could come. Please come in. I'm a busy man, Miss Callan. I understand that, but I'm sure Mr. Trevor. Get to the point and make me some coffee. Wicca symbols. So what is that, witchcraft? Wicca is an ancient religion. Those are signs and symbols common to Wicca. Do you know what each one means? The pentacle, a sign used to mark practitioners of Wicca. The horn god, the masculine aspect of the universe. The witch's sign, this sign marks ritual tools of witchcraft. And the triple goddess, which represents womankind in the three stages of the moon. Where did you copy these from? They're all over my attic walls. Do you know what it means? 
There may be practitioners of witchcraft in this house. So these uh, signs are evil. <laughs> practitioners of Wicca are peaceful people. There are some twisted people who take the images of Wicca and use them to form their own malevolent religion. You say that these signs appeared in this house? In the attic. Show them to me. No, I can't. I, I, don't, I don't want anyone going up there. I've come a long way, my dear girl. The least you can do is show me the evidence. I'm not going up there. The religion is peaceful, Emma. Practitioners believe that if one does evil to another, the evil that you do will come back to haunt you tenfold. Emma, we should really go upstairs and take a look at what you think you saw. I'm sorry, what I think I saw? Dr. Coffee. Peaceful, Emma. <laughs> you know what? I'm so sorry to have wasted your time. Emma. Dressed up for? I'm not dressed up. <laughs> How long have you been shut in your room here? Forever. Two days. Well, you can't stay up here forever. I'm gonna stay here until people start believing me. Well, you should know that I believe you. Well, that would make you the only one. This twin, she, she does exist. There's no doubt about that. She's definitely real to you. Meaning I'm crazy? No, no. Meaning, whether she is or she isn't physically real, she's a real danger to you, Em. Your parents are worried sick. So's your brother. Frankie? Mm-hmm. This morning he had tears in his eyes. He asked me, is Emma ever gonna get better? What'd you tell him? I told him that was your choice. You told him that was my choice? Yeah. You are. Who the hell do you think you are? You listen to me. You smug bastard. How dare you? How dare you come in here and tell me that I have a choice? You think I want to be in this house? What do you think I want? To see these things? You have no idea what goes on here. You have no idea. So don't you dare come in here and sit there and say to me with that smug look on your face that I have a choice. Okay. Okay, Em. Emma has a very real problem. What are we gonna do about it? Mr. Callan, is there any truth to this twin theory? God damn it. Isn't there anything that you can do for her, or haven't you done anything for her yet? Hasn't there been any progress at all? What can we do to help Emma? 
Emma told me that she thinks Graham killed her twin sister because of a, a birth defect she had like her brother Frankie. Now she is convinced that her father is coming after her because she's damaged in the same way Frankie is. And I'm, I should be going. Say that before I heard it. I heard it, Em. It's like a whisper. It was calling your name. Emma. Frankie, where are you going? It's, it's okay, Em. I'm big and strong. No, Frankie, em, you shouldn't go out there. No. Frankie, Frankie, no, Frankie. No, please. It's coming from outside. Please, Frankie. No. Frankie, wait. Please, Frankie. Frankie, don't go out there. Frankie! Big and strong, Em. Frankie, please! She'll hurt you! Em, will you calm down? Where did she come from? Out of nowhere. He... We heard her, and he... went out, and she... Your brother didn't see her? Not until it was too late. Where's the knife? We haven't found it yet. She still has it. She? You mean the girl from before? My sister, Beth. You have a sister? There's a case file. Detective John Trevor, he's been helping me out with this. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow afternoon. Talk to you more then.
Let's take a walk outside. Show us where this all took place. I'm not lying. There was someone else. We'd like to see that too. Let's go outside and retrace your steps. Let's go, Emma, now. Tomorrow. I'll show you tomorrow. Today. Now. Now. Let's go, Emma. If you guys are going to take her outside, you're going to have to come back here with a warrant for her arrest. We'll be back after we find the knife. Just a matter of time. Carter and Baker grilled me for two hours. Where were you yesterday? Family emergency. They think I did it. Did you? Oh my god. Oh my god, you don't... You still don't believe me, do you? You still don't believe me, do you? You still don't believe me? Then what are you doing here? Huh? You just wanna fuck me, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Hey, settle down. I've done nothing but help you. He was the only one on my side. I don't know what to believe, Emma. I have to see this other girl. I saw her. He saw her. Frankie's dead. And the cops think you're good for this. I would never hurt Frankie. You have to believe me. I need you to believe me. Please. That ends up on the internet, you're dead meat. She's gonna come back. There's cops all over the place. You'll be fine. I'm 
sorry, Em, I gotta go. If they find out what we just did, I'm in deep shit. I'll get back as soon as I can, all right? That's very, uh, that's very punk. Doesn't really go with your dress, though. When she comes back, she won't look like me, and then everybody's gonna know it was her, it wasn't me. Emma, Frankie's dead, and... Beth did it. Your sister? I saw her do it. Took her picture. Give me the camera. If she's on there, we'll see it. No, I don't I don't trust you. I'm gonna develop the pictures myself. You'll have to leave the house to do it. I believe you. I believe you're in real danger here. What do I do? I'm really scared. Well, I could arrange to take you to a place where you'll be safe. Would you go with me? I want to. I really want to. She needs to be hospitalized.
practitioners believe that you want those evils to another, the evil that you do will come back to haunt you too. She's still at the funeral home. I just came home to see how you were doing. Ma'am, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm fine, Daddy. You want some? There's plenty. Ooh. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Look. Ma'am. I wish it could be different. I really do. Sorry, it has to be this way. I know what you're doing, Daddy. I know what you're doing, and I won't let you do it. Well, sometimes we just have to accept what life gives us, you know? What are you saying? Who's... Who's we? Where's my camera? Yes, it's going together. Don't worry. Trust me.
not crazy. You saw her. I saw her. I saw her. She was trying to kill me. Trevor, my father, he told her to do it. Emma, we have to go to the police. Convince them of what we saw, and then we'll come back here and end this. I can't. Emma, it's not safe here. I can't leave. All right, then take this. All right. I'm gonna find the detectives and I'll be right back. Are you sure you won't come with me? When it's over. Protect yourself. I'm not thirsty, Mom. What are you doing with Don't that? Don't move. Put it down. Swear to God, I will shoot you, Dad. What's in it? What did you put in the drink? You want to kill me like you and Dad killed my sister? No, it's it's not what you think. This is this is for your own good. What did you put in the soda, Mother? You drink it. Now. Go ahead, Kim. Tell her. Honey, honey, it's it'll help you sleep. It's like Valium. For how long? Fucking dirt now? Honey, we have to get you out of this place, this house. <laughs> Don't fuck with me anymore. Sweetheart, we love you very much. I know what I saw. These. What are those? They. They're you, Sonny. Your daddy, your daddy developed the, the pictures. You shouldn't have done that. They're. They're mine. Now listen to me, you fuckers are gonna wait here. The police are gonna come. I think that's a very good idea. Kim, don't you think that's a good idea to call the police? My sister Beth died 12 days after I was born. You fuckers are trying to bring her back with your witchcraft and your ceremonies. A fucking bitch killed Frankie. Your other daughter killed Frankie. No, sweetheart. You killed Frankie.
What emergency? 114 Heritage Lane. I just killed my parents in self-defense. Emma, drop the gun right now. It's all over, Emma. Give me the gun. Where's Trevor? Detective John Trevor, where is he? Oh, Trevor, there you are. Thank God. Please tell these people about Beth. Tell them what we found out about coffee and... My name's Brad. Brad Howard. I'm a paramedic. There is no twin sister, Emma. We have your birth records. But what about the photos? They're just empty rooms, Emma. Tell them who you really are. Or I'll kill you. Tell them who you are, or I will count to three, and I will blow your brains out. Emma, give me the gun. One. Emma, please. Two. Give me the gun. Tell them who you are. Right. Well, she actually believed that her parents had brought back her twin sister Beth to steal her soul. Psycho. There was no Beth. No, Beth was very real, as I continually warned. It's all very sad. What do you mean she was real? Well, when your brain believes that something or someone exists, then that becomes reality. All we have, Detective Carter, is the reality that our brains project for us to see. So this Trevor guy was real to her, too? Yeah, yeah. She, she created John Trevor from a, a paramedic she met, and she took the name from a TV show. Everything she writes about him and her sister Beth in this journal makes them both very much alive. But what started it? Until two months ago, they were a normal family. Well, something in this house triggered it. Yeah, well, none of that crap explains why Emma killed Frankie. No, Beth did. Got it. Right. You're not going to believe this. I just found out 30 years ago, a woman mysteriously died in that same house. Houses don't kill people. This one did. considerable history. It's been here over 100 years. This place gives me the creeps. 
Allison, come on, baby. You haven't even seen inside, Allison. I don't want to. There's something weird here, like... Maybe it was an Indian burial ground or something? I, I, I don't know about such things, but we do have some lovely Indian restaurants in the area. <laughs> Allison, you can look around up here if you want. We're gonna go down in the kitchen and work this thing out. I think this place is a keeper. Who are you? I'm Ronald, a real estate agent. I just came by to check on Peggy, but I didn't want to step on her toes. She never shuts up. Well, that's Peggy for you. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of each other, you and I. I'm gonna get going now. I don't want Peggy to see that I'm here. Just let that be our little secret. 